What's up guys? Welcome back. It really does feel like it's been forever. I've missed you guys so much. It's been a few weeks. But today we are talking about how to make a two-sided photo. So I'm stoked. Today I'm going to be explaining how you can pull this kind of stuff out in all sorts of photos. I was finally able to go out, take some photos downtown. They, they really were cool. We found some cool places. One of the cool places we found was this ice cream shop that had a spotlight shining down onto the sidewalk to where it had the ice cream shop's logo on the sidewalk, right? So we walked by it and all of a sudden I realized that as I walked by it, it shined on me and only on one side. So I was like, this would actually be perfect for a two-sided photo. My friend took some photos and we ended up with this. So if you imagine this two-sided photo, one side is gonna be one theme, one side is gonna be the other theme. So for this one, one's gonna be dark with the spotlight shining the other side's gonna be light, just a standard photo, really. As far as the actual, like, photo, if, the, if we were just gonna leave this photo how it is right now, um, it's kind of decent. It sort of has a theme going on, um, but it's not really enough to be special, I guess. Um, so what we're gonna do, the, the way to get the two-sided thing going on, and you can do this with a light versus shadow like what we're doing you can do it with a color versus no color make it a sharp line instead of a fade um, but basically you want one side of the photo to be a different story than the other or at least a different angle of the story so that's just the cool part about doing a two-sided photo so for this one we're gonna do a light side and a dark side almost like there's you know two sides to every story there's there's sort of a message that we're going with you see this button here we clicked on this the graduated filter now, you'll see on this one, there's a lot of effects that you can do here. We're gonna go darken, and we're actually going to bring the exposure down a little bit more. That way we can see the effect. So, it's obviously this line going across, and you can see it's actually a really sharp line up in the sky and across my face. So that does obviously look edited, it doesn't look natural. We want this to look a little bit more natural. So, we're gonna go back in click on this <clears throat> we're actually going to expand how wide of a drop off if you will make sure that it's uh, straight up and down going straight down the center of my face so basically you can see now the effect that this has which is not really what we're going for at this point but in a nutshell that is the effect that you can get with this you can get one side completely normal photo the other side much different it's a totally different story and, and when you combine the two you've you know you found a new way to convey a message as far as where it looks unnatural right now the fact that the shadow cast on one side of my neck versus the other one side of my face versus the other actually looks like a, a natural shadow. It's a sh more of a sharp line because if you look at my face right now, especially when I take away this, you know, you see how that really does drop off with a shadow. The other side's kind of bright, so now I have my filler light back again. So that part's natural. What's not natural is the sky. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go over to the brush tool. See how the exposure is a little bit darker you can start brushing in this lighter area. Effectively what we're doing is we're taking out the obvious line in the photo. That middle portion, not really what we're going for, right? So what we're gonna do now is a new brush. This time we're going to increase the exposure. Let's see if we can get this middle portion. Better. So you can obviously see there are some areas that are where we want them to be, some areas that we aren't. So, I'm just gonna touch this up a little bit more. Make sure that that line still looks continuous. Make sure these clouds look continuous. And that sort of fixes the issue there. Now we have effectively given this photo two sides. There is a dark side and there's a light side. So this is exactly what we want and just does a really cool job at giving, you know, 
two sides to this story, two sides to this photo. I hope that makes sense as far as how to edit this sort of photo and achieve this two-sided effect on your photo. It was a lot of fun shooting this, a lot of fun editing, and a lot of my friends and a lot of you guys on Instagram that follow me really, really like this sort of photo when I posted it. So I hope you guys go out and take cool photos that you just put these sweet effects on. Maybe do it of a tree. You know, one side of the tree just fades off. Super dark, maybe one side's black and white. That's it for me, Andrew Morrison, signing out.